August 5, 2024. Monday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. In that same year, at the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, Hananiah the son of Atzer, the prophet from Gibeon, spoke to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will bring back to this place all the vessels of the Lord's house, which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon took away from this place and carried to Babylon. I will also bring back to this place Jeconiah the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles from Judah who went to Babylon, declares the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to Hananiah the prophet in the presence of the priests and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord, and the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. May the Lord do so, may the Lord make the words that you have prophesied come true, and bring back to this place from Babylon the vessels of the house of the Lord, and all the exiles. Yet hear now this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who preceded you and me from ancient times prophesied war, famine, and pestilence against many countries and great kingdoms. As for the prophet who prophesies peace, when the word of that prophet comes to pass, then it will be known that the Lord has truly sent the prophet. Then the prophet Hananiah took the yoke bars from the neck of Jeremiah the prophet and broke them. And Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, Even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon from the neck of all the nations within two years. But Jeremiah the prophet went his way. Some time after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke bars from off the neck of Jeremiah the prophet, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, Go, tell Hananiah, Thus says the Lord, You have broken wooden bars, but you have made in their place bars of iron. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put upon the neck of all these nations an iron yoke to serve Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, for I have given to him even the beasts of the field. And Jeremiah the prophet said to the prophet Hananiah, Listen, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have made this people trust in a lie. Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I will remove you from the face of the earth. This year you shall die, because you have uttered rebellion against the Lord. In that same year, in the seventh month, the prophet Hananiah died. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response, Teach me your statutes, O Lord. Keep me from the way of falsehood. Grant me mercy by your law. Teach me your statutes, O Lord. Never take the word of truth from my mouth. For I hope in your decrees. Teach me your statutes, O Lord. Let those who fear you turn to me. That they may know your decrees. Teach me your statutes, O Lord. Let my heart be blameless in your statutes. That I may not be put to shame. Teach me your statutes, O Lord. Though the wicked lie in wait to destroy me. Yet I ponder your decrees. Teach me your statutes, O Lord. I have not turned away from your decrees, which you yourself have taught me. Teach me your statutes, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, when Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist he withdrew from there in a boat to a desolate place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and the day is now over, send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, They need not go away, you give them something to eat. They said to him, we have only five loaves here and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing. Then he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. 
And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of the broken pieces left over. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. Monday, 18th week in ordinary time. Different people react in different ways to the same situation. In the Gospel reading this morning, there is quite a difference between the reaction of Jesus and the reaction of the disciples to the sight of a large hungry crowd in the wilderness. The disciples wanted Jesus to send the crowd away. Jesus wanted his disciples to make some effort to feed the crowd. Give them something to eat yourselves, he said. Even though they protested that they would not be able to find enough food to feed the crowd, Jesus persisted, and got them to bring the little food they could find to him. Then with that little, with those few resources, the Lord fed the crowd with the help of his disciples. The Gospel reading suggests that the Lord will always encourage us to take on some service of others, even when we may feel that our resources are inadequate. If we are generous with those few resources, the Lord will then work with them and through them in ways that will surprise us. The Lord can work wonders through the very ordinary and sometimes unpromising looking resources and gifts that we possess. We have to do our bit like the disciples in the Gospel reading, but the Lord always does much more. Yet, if we are not willing to do the little we can with what we have, the Lord's own capacity for ministry to others is curtailed. The Lord needs our resources, small and inadequate as they may seem, to continue His good work among us and in the world.